Hello all. So today I'm talking about what causes a cracked radiator, some of the common causes for this, and how you go about fixing it if you do have a crack. And so what are some common causes for a cracked radiator? Well, first of all, it could be very high or very low temperatures. So if the temperature is really high, then the coolant pressure is going to build up because the vehicle is overheating. When the pressure gets really great inside of there, it can cause a crack because it's trying to bubble out. And there could be different reasons for overheating, but basically if the vehicle is overheating, then this can be causing a crack. Also, freezing temperatures can cause a crack. Usually, antifreeze is mixed inside of a 50-50 water antifreeze mixture, but sometimes it needs to be greater, especially in colder weather. And so if this mixture isn't correct and the antifreeze freezes, it can cause a crack. And then, of course, rocks or an accident or anything like this can cause a crack also. And so if you do have a crack, there's some different ways you can go about trying to fix it. And one of the main ways people go about fixing a crack, especially on plastic radiators, is they'll use something like JB Weld or something similar. And this helps melt the plastic and everything back together where the crack is. You have to dry it up real good and different things like this. And this is a very common method. And it does work for many people. It'll depend how bad the crack is and if the problem is fixed that caused the crack in the first place. Many people also use like a hot air dryer to help melt it back together or even like a soldering iron to help melt the plastic. And those are some common techniques. There's some YouTube videos on that. And one of the more simpler ways that you could try to fix it is you could add in some uh, liquid aluminum. And what this is, this is small shavings of aluminum. It's been used for many, many years. And what it does is it, it just floats around inside of the coolant system. And as the liquid goes out the leak, this aluminum will start to block up the hole where it's coming out and it'll clog it up and it'll stop it from leaking. And this commonly does work, although it's not a permanent fix. Depending on the leak, it can help seal it up for a while, but it likely will come back and it'll need to be a more permanent fix. But this does work. You get it at auto parts stores or online on Amazon, eBay, or any of these kind of stores. So this is another fix that you could try if you are having this issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of the main things that causes a cracked radiator and some of the basic things you go about, you could do to try to fix it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.